Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's show. I'm Mike Max and thanks for tuning in to Life to the Max. You know they say everyone's an actor and all the world's just the stage. Well tonight we're going to introduce you to some people that like to step up center stage. We'll take you to St. Paul, home of the WCHA Final Five. We had unlimited access behind the scenes. We'll take you there and show you who steps up big time. Plus you remember Scott Erickson as a pitcher for the Minnesota Twins. He's now trying to make it on a different stage as a producer of a Hollywood movie, and he's got an interesting business partner. But first, the name of it is Project Success, and they come here to inner city middle schools, and they take kids, and what they really try to do is create a new attitude, inspire them, provide opportunity for them, and allow them to dream big. It's an awards banquet and Project Success is being honored. I've always believed that dreams were important. Since I was a little kid, I just knew. I knew they motivated us. I didn't say it, but I said they're important and they give us hope. As Cheryl Creasy, one of our founding board members said, not every kid has hope, but every kid needs hope. And it's fun when it's quiet and you're... Playing. Enter Adrian Dirks. She graduated from Whittier College in California. She knew she wanted something non-traditional. I went to school with and had many older students that I swam with who graduated from Whittier, speaking five languages, and went to work for an insurance company for years and didn't really think about what they wanted to do. They said, well, I gotta buy a car and I have to get an apartment, I should just get a job. And I thought, I wanna do something that helps inspire people to really think about who they are, what's out there in the world, and how do you match those things. And what followed was Project Success. Her concept, go into schools in the inner city and help give kids direction by giving them dreams. We love kids and we believe in kids and we believe in the power of young people to succeed and for them to define what that means for themselves. We absolutely believe that. Um, we believe that we shouldn't and can't judge kids, no matter what. If their goal is to raise their grade from an F to a D, that's a start, that's fantastic. One, two, three, they say. They do it by creating events and circumstances that require discipline and make kids reach outside their comfort zones so they will know who they are and what they're capable of. Part of it shows up in the theater. Here's a chat, where kids come together to experience performance. I always get scared, but when I get there, I just like suddenly like lose nervousness. It's just like confidence from when I get in there, but when I'm like worry, worry, waiting for it to happen, I just get nervous about it. Once you're on stage, everything's cool. Yep. It is here they have an opportunity to act, yes, but to understand much more. Mutilations? What we hope happens in the play is it encompasses, that experience encompasses all the things we've talked about. So we explore it, we do activities on it, this is it. They audition, so they have to prepare, they might be nervous, they might get in this year, they might not because we have so many kids audition. And then at the end, they have to take all that and perform in front of 800 people and in front of their peers. And there's nothing better than closing night and celebrating after the three performances and seeing students who've overcome obstacles and the fear and they've worked really hard and they've said, we did it. I feel like, like they're just looking at me. I feel like I'm the center of attention and it just like, it feels really good. What are their parents like in the car? Are they surprised usually or what are they? Oh, they can't believe it. I'm serious. They are like, I can't believe how good this is. They come both nights. They and it's not just the theater. It's field trips and workshops starting in the sixth grade. The workshops are, for example, in sixth grade, it's all about helping them dream with their eyes open. It's helping them explore what is a dream and what are their dreams. And they express it in four different creative ways. As they move on, so too does the curriculum continuing to challenge, but more importantly to motivate, to give a roadmap that does not define your future, but does define that you can dream big, that you are allowed to take control of your life, that you are not pigeonholed into anything unless by choice. 
and you are empowered to make your own decisions. In everything we do, we want to let them know they can do it, help them explore things for themselves so we facilitate those activities. But the way we achieve our mission is by workshops in the classrooms. There is a waiting list of schools that want to bring in Project Success. At the heart of it all is Dirk's passion. What has followed has been support, including the corporate world wrapping its arms around it. From the beginning, Life Touch uh, has been a founding partner, and Ted Kennecke from Life Touch has, was a founding board member. So it's been huge um, that not just the support, but just the belief and the passion and, and staying behind us. So, but we've had so many great sponsors, not only corporate, but individuals and family foundations. Um, Target, St. Paul Travelers, Dane, General Mills. Whenever we looked at organizations to support, we looked for an organization that had great leadership. Uh, Adrian brings that wonderful, passionate leadership to Project Success. Adrian has constantly proven to us that her primary interest is the development of children. That's because they see the value of kids being pushed while they're encouraged. I, you know, had my doubts. And when I came here, they taught me how to be confident of myself. Even if I do mess up, like, you know, just go with it. If, even if you mess up, if you say something wrong, if you, like, fall or something, you know, just do something to make it better, like, to correct yourself. So if you look over here, you see this bracket? They've been creating dreams since 1993, and so they've been able to track its significance. We've surveyed alumni for the past three years when we've done our evaluation. So we get great quantitative data there saying things like, next to my parents, you were one of the largest pieces in helping me plan and be prepared for my future. That's big. Some of it is difficult to quantify. What does it mean, after all, to make somebody feel better about themselves inside? How do you explain what conquering of fear translates into in 10 years? There is a faith component that goes with doing the right thing, and there is an indescribable feeling that goes with helping a young person see the light. And most importantly, the kids. Um, thank them for giving us this opportunity. There's more I could say. I know it's getting late. We are so grateful for this award and this recognition. Thank you so much. When we come back to St. Paul, we go the WCHA Final Five like you've never seen it before. Then later, Scott Erickson and his business partner, who happens to be his wife, are producing a movie. Stay with us as Life to the Max rolls on. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.